All right, so once you have uh, put in your drawing views inside SOLIDWORKS drawing, the other important thing to put on your drawing sheet is the dimensions so that it can be manufactured accordingly. All right, so as you can see, I have a front view of my model and uh, right now we don't have any dimensions attached to it. So let's put in some dimensions. I do uh, add dimensions to this one we will have to use the annotation tab and in the very first option we have a smart dimension some more uh, dimensions such as horizontal vertical baseline so on and so forth there are a number of different dimension tools that SOLIDWORKS provide us right so you can also access the dimension tool from uh, tools and go to dimensions and from there you can access all the dimension tools similar to the annotation tab all right so let's first start with the smart dimension let's select it and once you do that you will be given uh, dimension assist tools so we have a smart dimensioning rapid dimensioning dimension experts some styles and some learn all right so to utilize the smart dimensions, I'm going to start from this edge to this edge and then put in over here. I can change my units to MMGS so that it's more accurate. Now, now if I select my dimension again, you'll be given a dimension properties toolbar. So you have uh, styles. You have tolerance, you have uh, values, you have dimension text, you have uh, all the different uh, tools for alignment. So let's pick this to uh, let's talk about the tolerance. We can add uh, basic tolerance or you can add bilateral, you can add limit, all these different options. So let's go for bilateral. I'm gonna add zero one and this one zero one as well as i do that the zero one disappears that's because of the settings so let's go for point decimal three values and now it's uh, visible so you can also utilize the parenthesis to enclose your tolerance value you can do that if I change this to limit, you see how the values are added uh, accordingly and in symmetric we have plus minus 0, 0.0. Okay. In the minimum and maximum value as well. Let's keep it to bilateral, it's more suitable for now. Also we have tolerance modifier, so if you want additional tolerance you can add in over here and uh, below that we have uh, the option to override value so let's say click this primary values is primary value of my linear uh, dimension is 100 so i can change this to let's say 110 and if i do that you can see the changes accordingly i don't prefer this one but you can also utilize this one as well override value in the dimension text box we can add parenthesis we can add inspection we can add more parenthesis and more inspection in inside this we can type text such as let's say accurate something we can indicate inside this dimension text toolbar to make sure the um, proper proper information is conveyed to the manufacturing department all right so below that we have few more options like center dimension offset justify diameter we can change the options from diameter to radial all those different also we can uh, use dual dimensions so we have Let's say if I check on this dual dimension, I can uh, 
you use other unit as well so we can use uh, maybe english and metric two units if you want you can add inside dual dimensions and you can um, set the precision as well as the tolerance precision prefer i don't prefer using dual dimension but in case if there is a demand for dual dimension you can utilize this from here other things that we have inside dimension properties is the leaders we can change outside inside or like this you can see how the arrows are changing and then we can use the leader or dimension line style line style more line style over here all these different stuff inside other we have override units we have the text fonts and some layering going on so that's pretty much the uh, dimension properties panel and uh, if you want you can go to tools and then go to options from here you can go to document properties and side dimensions you can uh, use all these different options as well you can select a different font you can go for dual dimension display you can change the primary precision dual precision everything and anything that you're gonna need in this solidbox drawing toolbar so you can also uh, hide or show trailing zeros if you don't want to show this you can hide it from here but make, I, I, I usually keep this to show so that it's uh, rather than getting any error uh, the, all the values are on display you can also change the offset distance so you can also use the extension lines all these different options uh, style of the arrow have different styles you can change it and pretty much uh, all the things that you require for uh, representing your drawing such all works is over here inside document properties you can play with it and make sure uh, your dimensions are proper the other thing that i want to talk about is if i go for a smart dimension and say from here to here as soon as i click one of the edges i'm getting this rapid dimension option so it has two uh, semi circles you can say and what it does is it gives me kind of a notation where i want to put my dimension so i can put it up or i can put it down so it's kind of a helpful tool you want to use and let's say i can use for for this one as well so let's keep it here that's how you can pretty much adjust your dimension types uh, basically the dimension properties inside solidworks drawing i'll see you guys in the next tutorial if you have any doubts in this one feel free to comment down below